Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to create an exploding pie chart. Well, basically, how to explode the pieces off of a pie chart. Here's an example. Um, th these kind of graphs have uh, a lot of visual appeal. So here's a basic video of how to create it. So I have my data here in a table. Just a very basic data, data set with uh, expenses and the cost. Let me go ahead and copy that onto a, another sheet here. And I'll go ahead and once I select it, go ahead and select uh, this table and go into insert and this is Excel 2007 go to insert and pie now we have two options you can either choose a 2d pie chart or a 3d pie chart usually with uh, uh, the 3d pie chart it, it's visually more appealing um, so that's why I kinda chose this one and you can also already have a, a pre-selected uh, exploding pie uh, chart create it. But if we select that, you can see that it explodes everything and it's already kind of done for you. But uh, it's kind of nice to just kind of go through having the regular pie chart and exploding the single pieces that or other pieces that you want to do by yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that instead. And I'll go back here and uh, change the chart type and go to the standard 3D pie chart. And I'm going to explode it myself. And it's really easy to do. Let me go ahead and move this over here. Uh, you just need to select the, the the pie. And as you notice, when we select the pie, uh, we've got our points that indicate the, that all the slices in the pie have been selected. Now, if we click the pie once, it will select everything. If we click it again on the piece that we want to explode out, it will just um, select that portion. And we can just hold the left mouse button and, and move out the mouse and we've exploded just that piece. Now some extras that we can do here is to make it more visually appealing. Uh, what we can do is give it the, a 3D effect. I'll go ahead and, and um, select the whole, the whole chart here. Right click that and then you can see that everything's selected and go to 3D rotation. And let's give it uh, let's give it this rotate a little bit. You, there's a lot of options you can do with the pie chart. One good thing, um, one kind of best practice that I like to do is um, having uh, the pie chart that you want to have the most emphasis on. You have that kind of line up at 12 o'clock here, and so you've got a large piece that's coming out here. Um, but you can also like rotate your your pie chart uh, any way you like it. And so if you wanted to rotate it around this is the x the x axis rotation that you can use let me go and set that back to zero and the y axis rotation kind of flips it up and down um, for lack of a better word but you can see what I'm talking about here we're, we're flipping it around now I like to keep this one at 30 and the perspective is very similar to the y uh, rotation but it gives it a little bit more um, once you set your y, your y uh, rotation it kind of uh, rotates that respective to that a little bit more so uh, let's keep this one at 32 and there we have our rotation there uh, even though this is a we're talking about exploding pie uh, you get a little more emphasis by doing a little bit more of the XY rotation and I kinda like to give this some three some additional uh, shadowing effects there's some some of the design uh, options you can choose here and this one is something I like here the, the style <laughs> style 26 it gives it a little bit of shadow and so it gives it kind of an impact and as you can see in my previous sheet I don't have the grid lines here so um, if I just wanted to show this to in a presentation with just the Excel portion or I'm gonna send this over and I kinda wanted to make it look nicer I can go into view and uh, tick off the uh, grid lines and there we have our exploding pie chart and make it look a little visually appealing. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.